Hey guys. First of all, thanks for watching my video. So, in this video, I'm gonna show to you how to set up Arduino Wheel for Forza Horizon 4. But, before we begin, since you search for this video, I assume your Arduino device already, I'm not gonna show you how to set up the Arduino, I'm just showing you on how to make it work for Forza Horizon 4. Now, the first step you need to do is to make sure you're running the Fall Creators update on Windows 10 or later. Next, download and install the latest build of the Joy Device Driver. You can find the link in the description below. Once completed, run and configure VJoy and set it up like this. And don't forget to hit the apply button. Next, go to Forza Emma Wheel website. Link also in the description below. There's also a setup guide provided in the website, you can check it out and read it by yourself if you don't like to watch this video, the content is just the same anyway. Now, download the latest version of Forza Emmawheel and extract the contents of the archive. Next, run the configurator. Then, assign the steering, throttle, brake, clutch, and handbrake axes, and set buttons, using set button, for all the corresponding bind. In my case, I have extra USB gamepad, so, I just rebind the key, like the Xbox controller's layout, but, if you don't have it, or maybe using custom button box, it shouldn't be a problem, you can just rebind the button to any key you want. Do these steps until all of your buttons are set. For me, I just leave the default value for the force feedback option. But, it's up to you to change the value to follow your preferences. Once you're done, don't forget to hit that save config button. The configurator will generate a file called configuration.json. It is needed for Forza Emma Wheel to run. Another thing is, if you want to edit an existing configuration, you can always click load config button and point to the location of current configuration.json. Then, once done, just click the save config button again. Now, you can close the configurator. Next step is, launch hush and click mute to mute your devices. Don't worry, you can always revert back by running hush again, and clicking the unmute button. Now, run Forza Emma Wheel, and click start. Once everything has been done, now it's time to do the last step, which is, launch Forza Horizon 4, and create custom mappings, for the wheel setting. If your game shows empty layout profile, then highlight the layout, with your keyboard's arrow key, and press the left or right arrow key on your keyboard, until the custom wheel profile shows up. This usually happen, when you setting the wheel, for the first time. Now, you can map all the axes, and buttons, for your Arduino wheel, to the game custom wheel profile. Please note that, in Forza Horizon 4, there are a few functions that is compulsory to be bind with buttons on your controller, so make sure you have enough button to fill that role, or the game will not allow you to save your custom wheel profile. Once everything has been done, now you can play the game, and your wheel should be working, as how it should be. The force feedback that are not working before, now working like a charm, all thanks to the people who made the Forza M wheel software. So, that's it guys, I hope this video can help a little bit, thanks again for watching my video, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to people that want to know the solution for this problem. Oh, for those of you that wonder, this is not my real voice, well obviously, this is a voice generated by Watson text to speech. You can check the link in the description. It's good, it can generate human-like voice. I recommend you to check it out. Okay guys, that's it from me, bye.